Hi Virgo. Welcome to your quantum reading. This is for Virgo Sun, Moon, or Rising. Welcome to my cross watchers. Cross watcher, you could be dealing with a Virgo. The message could be for you. Take it however it resonates with you and your situation. Keep in mind these are general and timeless readings. If you guys are wanting to check out any of my services, my website is located down below in the description box. Or you can check out my Instagram, which is also listed down below. And thank you guys so much for being here, for all your support. Let's dive in and see what's going on here. Okay. Yeah, 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 yeah. This is kind of perfect. So at this time, Virgo, you have to kind of adapt. So something about your situation it's either in fluctuation or change. You have the air element. So I don't know if you're dealing with air type energy or, you know, that could be, maybe you have an air element in your chart possible, but there's the adaptability card. See even the image here, you have like a staircase. So if you're wanting to elevate in your situation, it is requiring you to kind of go with the flow in something. And I do think You've got this energy here that's the coyote and it's intelligence and unpredictable unpredictability. So you could be dealing with an air sign somewhere in your midst, okay? This energy could be highly intelligent and that also could be very unpredictable. Like you never know what is going to come up from this particular energy. And maybe that's something where you're having to adapt quickly. You know, if this particular person, you're not always sure what the mood like fluctuation is going to be or um, what's going to set someone off. That can also be about this person too, because they have such a high level of intelligence, Virgo, whoever this person is. That it's like whatever they're scanning in the environment or the vicinity, it's just like one little tiny thing. It. I don't know if there's a tad of hypervigilance to this, like this particular person, but it's just like there are things that this person is scanning about the environment because you see how there's the landscape that's surrounded by this particular person and it's like a valley. And also with the stars in the background, there's something here about like looking at the patterns of things like and it's light patterns it's like little things i've talked about this a long time ago but it's just like little things that light up in your cognitive awareness and this is something about the patterns that um show up here in connection to this whole situation and then there's the pelican with love and motherhood i love this okay this is really lovely because Maybe that's somewhere around here. You either could be connecting with your mother or you have some kind of nurturing energy around you that is full of love. Someone could have, I also heard something like taking you under their wing or that could be somehow connected in this situation. Like there's a lot of love here. Some of you guys, you could be considering motherhood. I don't know if you're thinking about conceiving or something like that. See, even this card is so hilarious. It's x-ray. There's a person here that's trying to like see deeper into a situation and it's like um, seeing beyond, you know. You know, x-rays are because of quantum physics. They wouldn't exist without quantum mechanics. Did you know that? Because it just has this mechanism. It's almost like Superman. Okay. Oh, and we have photon. Very interesting. So photons obviously are a lot of positive energy. And oh, I'm sorry, not I was thinking of a um what is it freaking called a proton this is a photon this comes from the sun or warm energy there's also like bio photons so there could be something here about photons of energy that are coming in it's helpful for you and it, it could be something about getting the proper energy photons come from the sun right it's light emission and your electrons need it to be able to function properly. And if you get that, especially from the sun or 
you know, anything with a warm energy actually emits a photon. So there could be something here about getting the proper, proper energy absorption for your electrons. Because you have a lot of them in your body. And that could be something here about, like, seeing beyond with the x-ray. Oh, wrong. Let's put these back. Okay. Let's see. <laughs> Sorry, I keep doing that because they blend in with the table. Okay. So we have... Okay, there's one archetype in here. It's another air sign. Look, this is another of Queen of Swords is like a high level of intelligence. So that could be totally you, Virgo. You might have... Okay, right now in your situation, you have like this full level of knowledge or, or awareness about a particular person. And you might be starting to understand that whatever it is about this person, it's completely out of your control. So you are coming across as mature... You know, Queen of Swords is, it's a level of education or experience, whatever you have in your background, that you just know that you've seen this before with the coyote, or you just have like a certain level of understanding about who or what you're dealing with. And it's helping you to like, so you're stopping a lot of emotional fuel that you're giving to the situation which is detaching you, which is like, it is good. I think that's what's gonna keep you out of pain is your ability to detach in this situation because it will make you kind of indifferent or a level of not not exactly apathy. Apathy is like a, definitely a different frequency, but it's kind of an indifference to this person's unpredictable patterns or behaviors like whatever it could be that they're doing it's just like you're not very phased or triggered by it which is super good that's some kind of like mastery that is good and this also could be that you're creating firm boundaries here so that it doesn't affect your energy but yeah this feels like the energy like of the coyote this is on the knight of wands is very fiery impulsive and can be unpredictable so you have like a lot of willpower but you also are coming across as very mature here that you're like you might be feeling when it comes to this particular person that you're you have no other choice to be by to be by like like this <laughs> come on joss you just because like this person energetically is maybe just can't move beyond something maybe in their past or just this is this is just how they maneuver or operate and there's nothing you can really do about it i think you haven't walked away quite yet okay not to say always walking away is right or wrong it's just saying look how wise you are in this situation because you see it for what it is and you might maybe you are also interacting with this energy in a very loving way like for example if you have a if this person is either younger or you have a person here that is older but um something about them is acting kind of immature you might be now trying to nurture it with love but you have like a level of this detachment that's beyond the surface of the love like be, it's underlying so you're not becoming super absorbed in this person's energy or situation or whatever their unpredictable things are you're actually kind of above that okay because i do think that this this does have the ability to hurt i think underneath the surface you can maybe see someone else's pain and that might be helping you to navigate it very differently. It's almost like you're communicating with this person's inner wounded child and and like soothing that part rather than reacting with the initial layer of the pe person that you're dealing with. Like you're now communicating with a different part of them that is trying to karmically fix something with their own mother that has caused a lot of pain and confusion. And that's where there's something about the situation that I think this is the adaptability 
that it's like you're trying to soothe the situation as much as possible because this person might like feel that at one point sooner or later people will leave them that's like an underlying wound or fear and so this person it's like there is going to be this point in time where you will leave and that's when it's almost like you are, you're preparing for that energetically but it's like you know that's what's coming you have the six of cups see what i was saying about you you've been around this before you've been you know this is like triggering a lot of memories I do think about a particular person that you feel is very similar to this. It's like there's this connecting the dots that you're almost like comparing the people or the situations and um, almost even trying to uh, pre predict the unpredictable. Oh, isn't that fascinating? So it's kind of like you're like looking, but this is unpredictable. So I don't know. It could be there are some different elements involved here, but and that could be what, how you're trying to navigate this particular situation. But you have this three of wands, which I think is the beginning signs of something starting to come in or shift. And there's almost like this transition point that's going to take place where you like energetically have to be patient with the situation, you know? Because some kind of ship is coming in. That's some law of attraction element. Oh, and look at the love. Yay. And that's what I think is reflective of what's coming in. Because this Ace of Cups is like heart open. It's a lot of compassion and empathy. And I think that's slowly coming back online. Okay. And it's all about just like energetically including really specific things. Like you can see the difference when you get the energy that you need, the proper energy absorption, that things transpire, transpire in a very particular way that help you. Maybe it's even this x-ray, like seeing beyond. It's almost like you're looking at a particular person and you can see beyond their, maybe the grandiosity or the surface layer. I keep like picking up on this very interesting, very well put together um, image or persona that's like disguising this, you know? I, most humans have that. It's nothing shameful. It's just like a lot of us are trying to figure out what's going down at the quantum level or the cellular level, why there's there's some kind of underlying pain and then trying to mask that to come across as maybe a desirable partner or a mate or a candidate in any particular way, like even in business for crying out loud. But it's like, here's the page of swords. This, this feels like news is coming in. I'm just going to say it very straight up like that because you have some kind of internally you're in this ace of cups where you're putting a lot of focus and tension not only on self-love but just love in general so you're keeping a lot of your energy focused in that particular direction and i think that this page of swords is like there's the beginning signs of something coming in towards you it could be your manifestation and page of swords might be you typical you might need to get more information but whatever comes forward towards you when you're in this space of love that i would trust that i would completely trust because it's showing me it's not so I mean, i'm not telling you guys to walk away from anyone that's not the goal of this it's about deciding and changing patterns when you know you continue to go towards something that feels very painful and finding a way to bring in some kind of emotional satisfaction into your situation no matter what you're in and this is like you're very familiar with this right because it's saying there's something here about the past or or a lot of history involved here but you're like coming into this emotional rebirth and I think that energetically is going to attract something powerfully for you to look into quite a bit more okay my loves so oh and the knight of cups is here on the bottom look at that could be someone here that wants to get your attention or drawn to you from the crowd for those of you if you're doing something specific especially in the arts someone could be 
wanting to make an emotional offer to you. Okay. Don't look past the details of this person or get swept up in the romance because you might miss something here. So trust your intuition. Okay, my loves. I'm going to dive into the extended. If you guys want to join me over there, feel free. Go down below, click on the Vimeo link, see it over there. But Virgo, if this is where we leave things, I'm sending you so much love. Wishing you all the very best. See you in the next reading. Take care.